Hi everyone, Lady Rose here with you from Goddess Garage. I'm here to do the pick a pile video that I set up um, the picture for for you to pick from on my Goddess Garage Tarot Parlor Facebook page. So if you want to go and take a look at that picture, you can, or I'm also using it as the title picture of this video. So you can take a look here. I'm also going to go through what each of the piles are so you can pick then whenever you want to pick. Um, just take a moment to sort of feel the energy of what um, is surrounding you of what pile you want. So the ones that are for the picking actually come from my daily affirmations by Cheryl Richardson. So this is an interesting deck because it's kind of like five, uh, six, seven decks in one because it co covers seven different topics. Then we're also using the Moonology deck in this um, reading. And this Moonology deck I use a lot. It's by Yasmin Bolin and uh, it talks about the energy that's surrounding the particular subject that we're going to be looking at, whichever subject you pick. And then, just for fun, I got out my great big giant um, tarot deck, uh, Rider Waite Smith deck that I use. I always include Smith in there because she's the penniless female um, artist of that deck that um, was not allowed to talk or do seminars or uh, anything like presentations of this deck unlike Ryder and Waite who were allowed to do it. Now Ryder and Waite were the money, the publishing money behind the deck and the creator behind the deck but Pamela Smith was the artist who created all the art for the deck and she's very often not credited well enough so I always include her when I can. And then we have the Oracle of the Fairies deck and I just threw that in just to kind of throw a little pixie dust around so to speak. So the piles we have are environment so sort of what's going on around you right now in general, if you just want to take an overview kind of look. Um, and then we have work, if you're looking at work or career, that sort of thing. Then we have prosperity. So this is more of uh, what, what is good in your life. Is there some good luck coming in? What kind of gifts are coming your way? That sort of thing. And then we've got relationships. So relationships are about love, but also about family, um, your spouse or partner, um, it can also be about friends, that sort of thing. We, You can also pick to look at physical health, so that's pretty obvious, physical health. And then we have emotional health, if you want to take a look there. And then we also have spiritual health. So those are the piles that you get to pick from. Now, these are very general sort of quick overviews. If you want to go deeper after hearing about the overview, please get in touch with me and I do readings both in person. I'm in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. And if you are not in that area, you can reach out to me and we can also arrange online um, readings as well. So I do that as well. And I have clients all over the world. It's very exciting to meet new people from different countries and things like that. Um, so we're going to touch on environment first. So oh, the first card we get is this Great Pyrenees. I have a Great Pyrenees. Her name is Lucy and she looks just like that. They, they're always smiling at you. So it says, I easily release clutter from my life for good. So your environment, those of you that picked environment, it's time to release clutter and it's time to physically release that clutter. So it's time to clean out that closet, clean out that drawer, look at that counter or um, that corner that collects all the flyers and the, the uh, junk mail and that sort of thing. Maybe it's building up too much and maybe it's your time to clean out your purse or your desk or your car because it's starting to muddle your environment and muddle your mind and muddle the way you make decisions and things like that. So it's time to declutter. Um, and then for your moon card, the, so the energy that's around you, is it's time to release negativity. And you've got the full moon in Scorpio. So there's some secrets, some regrets, some things you keep in the dark that maybe are coming up that it's now time to kind of release that because it's creating blocks and negativity in your life. Um, the full moon is generally a time of when wishes come true and uh, time for gratitude, but this is sort of the time for those secrets to see the light of day in a way and to kind of really release them. Um, now, perhaps there's something you've been frustrated with 
And Scorpio often is a very passionate kind of sign. So I'm sensing there's some relationship kind of stuff. I know we're not in relationships yet, it's just environment, but maybe there's something you're frustrated with that could be to do with a relationship, that it's not moving the way you want, um, as quickly as you want, or where you want, that sort of thing. Because I've got this as a theory card, it says wait for winter. And, sorry, my camera's doing something funny there. Um, so wait for winter, and it says, during the colder months, the fairy queen of winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes, as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. So this, <laughs> this is saying what you want to have happen or the situation you want to have happen, the desire you want to come in will not be coming for a couple of months, for a few months. It literally says wait for winter and it's partly because you need to declutter and you need to release some negativity you're creating blocks so if you want it to move the way you want it to move right now it's gonna go sideways on you it's time for you to wait it's time for you to reflect and it's time for you to get rid of some stuff out of your life both spiritually mentally emotionally and physically start with the physical and work backwards from there and really try to do some of that reflection and see what you need to release oh because if you do do that and you do have the patience to wait so the divine is saying wait it's going to unfold as it should so don't push too hard patience is the key declutter reflect release negativity and have some patience because whatever it is you want will be moving in and will be coming into you. You've got the Knight of Cups and Cups have to do with relationships and emotions. So this is all about this coming in. It will come in for you. You do have to do those things first though. So keep that in mind. Now we're moving on to work. So here's work or career, that sort of thing. So it says my career for your affirmation thing my career is bursting with opportunities to express my creativity and passion so you've got some create um, some opportunities coming your way as far as work or career goes perhaps you've been thinking about that um, the energy that's around your career and thing and work um, is the new moon in Aquarius so new moon in Aquarius means that new things it's a good time to start new things it's a good time to start new projects it says bring love into the situation now that doesn't mean go to work and love your boss <laughs> if you don't want to <laughs> it means that passion as mentioned on this card is um, a form of love it's a it's a fiery kind of love so it's saying bring love into this situation it's a new moon in Aquarius so that's kind of interesting as far as work and career goes so it means bring some passion bring some love find what you love to do and or change your attitude at work and love what you're doing at work find that love again perhaps you've hit a bit of a rut perhaps you're questioning do I want to do this for the rest of my life do I want to change what do I want to do kind of thing so now's the time if you do want to change whether it's your attitude or whether it's a whole new career now's the time to kind of do it but keep in mind it's a new moon in Aquarius and Aquarians always kind of do things by the beat of their own drummer so it's going to be kind of in an odd way that it's going to happen but once you find that passion and career or creativity and that love for whatever it is you want to do opportunities will start to present themselves so that there needs to be a bit of an attitude shift right now because right now maybe you're not happy with what you're doing and that's okay but find what you do like to do and get that passion going so that the opportunities start to present themselves whether it's in the job you're in right now maybe there's upward mobility maybe there's a sideways way of going that you like better anyways you like doing that job that um, brings a quality of life um, that sort of thing so then your fairy card is temptation interesting <coughs> so you've got a, a fairy here and it says you are in denial about an unhealthy habit perhaps one that makes you feel guilty this fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation whatever its guise so maybe something related to work 
is not healthy for you. Maybe it's a toxic work environment. Maybe um, you're not happy there, so that's causing stress for you. Maybe it's a super high stress job, and that's not good for your health either. So examine those things. If, if you're not capable of changing jobs or don't want to change jobs because this is what I train for, this is what I love, then change your attitude, but also look for ways to change your job that you're presently in to create a better quality of life and carve out those moments when you can self-care because self-care is very important. Now you've got the king of cups, <laughs> so we went from the knight to the king. So as far as career goes, um, because that temptation card came up and there's some unhealthiness, I think right now emotionally you're not in a good place. So you need to kind of um, examine that. And the king of cups, when he comes up, it's often a time of reflecting on and seeing what sort of the benefit versus the non-benefit of the job is like the benefit of a job clearly is a paycheck right so it pays your bills and it pays your rent and pays for your car and all that kind of stuff but the king of cups is coming up here because it's saying yeah it's paying for all those things but you don't live in your house very often because you're working so much or you're not in the backyard of your house because you're never home um or, you know, you basically get up, eat, sleep, go to work, sleep, get up again, eat, go to work, go come home and go to bed. That's not much of a life. So it's really saying examine that. Is it is this job not only paying your bills, but a job should also create a quality of life for you. Um, whether it's you can afford the things you want or whether it gives you the time and the flexibility of what you need as well because it's not always in the form of cash sometimes you know some jobs are great because it's like I get to do what I want I mean I don't have a boss hanging over me so I have a lot of flexibility I can go pick up my kids after school back when we used to do that <laughs> um, and then also too, you know maybe oh I'm only working four days a week so I get a three-day weekend every week and it's great because I need that extra time or whatever so watch and see what is your job giving you besides a paycheck and does that need to change and how can it change now we're into prosperity so your affirmation for prosperity those that pick prosperity the more I take care of myself the more prosperous I am and there's a nice tree sitting there looking all peaceful and it's about taking that time for yourself so in prosperity it's saying you really need to take care of yourself because that's where prosperity is coming from it's more about time and time really although we waste it and neglect it a lot of the times it's really one of our most precious resources it's also one of our most precious gifts to be able to grow old is a gift and it gives us more time to do the things we want to do so we should be thankful every day when we wake up that we have another hopefully 24 hours ahead of us and hopefully much longer than that but at least we've got the gift of today because <coughs> you never know right um, okay so for prosperity interesting moon energy you've got a void of course so nothing will come of this situation so right now for those of you that are searching for prosperity or wanting good luck not gonna be there don't wish for it don't ask for it it's not gonna happen right now as far as we know it's about self-care because the void of course when a vo when the moon goes void of course it means that the moon is out of communication she's um, packed her bags she's turned off her cell phone and she's gone home and she's not talking to anyone and void of course um, the moon goes into void of course many times through the month sometimes for a few minutes sometimes for a few hours it doesn't usually go longer than 24 hours but during that time it's kind of like a mini retrograde it's not the time to start things it's not the time to communicate sign contracts or important documents or anything like that so right now for you guys as far as prosperity goes just lay it on the back burner don't do anything with it oh and your fairy card is inner child so the fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. So this void, of course, is here because perhaps you've been 
wanting to try something new. Maybe um, <clears throat> you've been you started a new business a lot. I know a lot of people have gone into direct sales. Now is the time to kind of lay that down for this week. For this week, don't focus on it. Don't go after it. Um, don't do anything with it <coughs> or try not to because you'll find it's all going to go sideways anyways. Um, so you might find like if you've, you know, planned a couple of parties online, they're not going to go anywhere this week. Um, and maybe your hostess will cancel on you or maybe you've got a few appointments. If you're an entrepreneur and you make appointments or whatever, they might cancel on you. Take it in stride. Okay, no worries this week. This week, things are going to cancel and fall apart. That's okay. It's time to take time for self-care and time to play and be silly. So this is a week for you guys to be silly and take time for your self-care. And don't be upset because then the page of pentacles comes in. This is awesome. So he's all about money. Where's my big deck? Here it is. So he's all about money. Pages always bring messages. Let's see what your message is. Okay. So you got judgment okay so judgment now oh right under his tower okay <laughs> so you got judgment so this is sometimes um, what I call one of the scary cards I did a video on scary cards of tarot because a lot of people will pull back from this card because because we've got people in their coffins rising up from the dead and it can be a little scary plus the big word judgment meaning oh my god I'm being judged and I always remind my clients when they get this card that they're not being judged so much as they are, um, they have made the right judgments. So they're on the right path. Because this is Angel Gabriel, also in my Angel Cards of Tarot. So this is Angel Gabriel. He's the messenger of God. He's also the one that will trumpet you into heaven when we all pass away and you know, realize that we're good people and need to go to heaven. Um, <laughs> so how is this connected to the page of pentacles? It means that you've made the right judgments and it's how you handle those sideways situations that happen this week that will really make or break you as far as money goes. So if you handle them with um, grace and diplomacy and, oh, that's okay, no worries, you know, you've got life going on, maybe we, we can reschedule or, oh, you need to cancel that order, okay, no worries, it's on sale until this date if you want to order it or, you know, you can say, okay, no worries, I can let you know next time it goes on sale, um, you know, I'll send you the next month's catalog or whatever it is, right, like that sort of thing. So it's in how you handle those situations where you don't get miffed, you don't get upset, you don't get desperate and panicky. Treat it like a child. Treat it like you're playing store. Okay, no worries. You can come back to my store another day. And it's in making those judgments that actually money starts to come in in the following weeks. It's not coming this week, and that's okay. You're going to make it, and things are going to go sideways. But the way you handle those sideways situations is what's going to bring the prosperity for you. Okay, next pile is relationships. So relationships, our affirmation card we've got is, I am a respectful, loving person who cares deeply about how I treat others. People feel safe around me. So perhaps you just needed a reminder that maybe you're a bit of an earth angel for a lot of people. You're the person that they go to for advice. They trust you. They know it's not gonna go anywhere. They also know that um, you're pretty solid and stable and what you have to say for them and as far as advice goes when it's solicited, not unsolicited, is coming from a place of love, coming from a heart-centered place, and usually has some wisdom along with it. Um, mostly because you've got angels with you, right? Um, when I do my readings, I always tell clients, because sometimes clients will be like, oh, you're so wise. I'm like, not really me, it's my angels <laughs> whispering in my ear. <laughs> I'm just a really good listener. <laughs> So the energy surrounding relationships is look at the bigger picture. You've got the full moon in Sagittarius. So you're kind of feeling a little philosophical, maybe a little bit of you want the chase kind of thing. Um, but it says look at the big picture. So if you've had some arguments with some people, maybe you're getting too stuck on the details um, and you're like letting the little things get at you. And really, you got to look at the bigger picture. You've got a full moon. It's a full pink moon in Sagittarius. Pink is the, uh, the color of love. 
Sajis are always fun. I've never met a Saji I don't like. So that's the energy around you is that fun, let's go play kind of thing. Um, not that you're not that this week is playful for you. That was the prosperity people, but it's take a look at that bigger picture and then you'll be able to hit your mark, so to speak. Um, yeah, so you're kind of a bit a bit of an angel for other people. People feel safe around you, but maybe you've been a little nitpicky. Try not to be too nitpicky this week. So you've got as your fairy message, tree wisdom. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. So what I'm really picking up from this card is go out into nature, go and touch some trees, go and touch them, be in their, their aura, soak in that tree energy, because that's really gonna ground you. You need some grounding right now um, because of maybe uh, conversations, as we call them. Um, that, <laughs> that you've been having with um, someone in your life and you need to listen for the birds. Which ones are you hearing? Which birds are you hearing? And then look up and see what those birds mean. You might get a feather or two as well. So watch for the feathers that are coming. You've got the Ten of Pentacles. This is a great card. So maybe you've been, you know, um, <clears throat> sort of been upset lately with a, a person in your life, whether it's your spouse or whether it's, you know, a sibling, a child, a friend, whatever it might be. Someone's been frustrating you a little bit. So you need to kind of look at the big picture, like your moon energy said, and ground yourself this week because it actually brings in a lot of really good energy. This is earth energy and it means the cycle is going to end. So the argument or the discussion or the whatever it is that's going on is going to end and it's actually going to bring a gift. So it might be a true mending of the fences and you get back to where you were um, in a new sort of way but a better way kind of thing as well. So as far as relationships go, things look good. If you've been having an argument with someone, things are going to mend. But you need to, <coughs> excuse me, look at that bigger picture and get grounded. Go out into the woods, try and get in into a tree or a, you know, try to ground yourself and, and listen for those birds. You're gonna get a feather, um, so watch for that. People who picked physical health. So it says, my hormones, my hormones are beautifully balanced. So that's good. So maybe you've been worried about that. You've got a white dog and a black dog, you know, sort of the yin yang dogs running on the beach, enjoying themselves, just being silly dogs and feeling good. The energy around you is a new start is coming. You've just got the new moon, new, not in a sign, just a, a big old new moon. <clears throat> so that means a new change. So that means something's improving as far as physical health goes. It's a new start, it's a fresh start, which is good because perhaps you've been worried. There's probably a reason you picked physical health. Now you got have a bit of a journey as far as the fairies go. It's time to prepare for a journey. It may be impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure you're ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. Now that probably means metaphorically, but <clears throat> we've got a bunny here with some wings. He's a fairy bunny. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's funny, bunnies, we all know what bunnies do. And then hormones came up and a new start is coming. So perhaps, and suddenly I'm hearing the word menopause. So perhaps someone is going through menopause and needs to hear this because maybe they're a little afraid or worried about going through menopause because it can mean a lot of changes. It can mean emotional upheavals because, you know, the hormones are going all over the place. As women, we, we go through a lot of journeys and menopause is one of them. So I currently am going through menopause and yes, there are hard times. Not fond of the hot flashes, I can tell you that. <laughs> um, but I'm embracing my menopause. Uh, I know my mother had a really hard time with it, so I know as a sort of a younger woman in my 30s, I was worried, am I gonna be like my mother when I go through menopause? Um, and I like that menopause has kind of been brought out of the closet a little bit too. People don't like shy away when you say that. Because um, I remember my grandma going through menopause 
And as a little girl, I didn't really understand what they were talking about because the word menopause was not brought up. It was like, she's going through the change. You know, <laughs> it was like, what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> um, so this is really um, a time to embrace really who you are and taking care of who you are. We're now, as menopausal women, in a stage where our children are grown up and there's more time for you and to really examine who you are. And I have to say a lot of heat clients are women that are going through that, you know, children moving out and getting their own places and perhaps they're hitting menopause now and that sort of thing. And life changes when that happens, but embrace it um, because it's a lovely, lovely time if you really look at the good parts of it. Um, and if you want to go further on that kind of a reading, please let me know because there's a lot of depth to this kind of reading. Um, but embrace it because maybe you're a little afraid and it's totally understandable because, you know, each person's different. We don't know what's going to happen, you know, as far as our hormones, as far as our you know, ways of dealing with it. And some people do hot flashes, some people don't. Some people get different symptoms and that sort of thing. Um, not that I'm a medical doctor by any means, but I am a woman <laughs> who is currently going through menopause. And I understand some of the fear. Sometimes there's a bit of stigma um, involved with it. There's also a little bit of loss felt with it, right? Because, you know, one door sort of closing, but it's time to open that next door and kind of embrace our crone stage. That's when we get to be the diva. And I don't mean in a negative way, I mean in a good you know, way, stepping into our queendom, as I sometimes call it. It's time to do that. I don't know why we have to wait to menopause to do it. Um, hopefully our daughters will be smarter and wiser. Um, and my daughter has taught me a lot. <laughs> Uh, about stepping into my queendom. And then we've got, as your tarot card, you've got the Six of Cups. So this is about, this is called the Nostalgia card because sometimes it's about looking back. And I know menopause can bring up some of that nostalgia of, you know, what ifs and what if I'd gone down this road as opposed to that road? And what if I'd had three children instead of two children or whatever, right? Because you feel those opportunities kind of slipping by now, right? But this is also a card of joy because each of these has, um, funnily enough, a lily in them, which in this tarot deck represents the male energy. So we get some freedom when we get when we go through menopause as well. So look at the freedom that you can gain. That's kind of what that card is saying. It's a six. So sixes are about general, um, I mean gentle kind of growth that's going to happen. So you're about to grow. Whether you feel that or not, you're about to grow. And it's gonna be a beautiful journey because um, you're going through the journey of menopause. So I, I have a feeling there's someone out there that needed to hear that about physical health. Um, then we've got emotional health as the next one. So your affirmation card is, I trust myself to act when the energy moves me. <laughs> and this deck likes to use dogs, which I really like. This dog is clearly resting, as dogs do very well. I hope you can see that. There he is. Resting. <laughs> so perhaps you've been feeling a little bit lethargic and lazy lately, or at least that's what you're calling it. And you've been hard on yourself. You've been like, oh my God, all I'm doing is napping and watching Netflix and I'm not doing a whole bunch of stuff. And you get on Facebook and you see people doing all these wonderful things. They're cooking, they're visiting, they're jogging, they're uh, making crafts, they're reading books. And you're just, yeah, okay, that's okay. <laughs> a dog knows when he needs to rest, he'll get up when he needs to or when she needs to to eat, go for that walk, drink, whatever. So trust yourself to act when the energy moves you. Let the energy move you. Be okay with being still. As a society, we find it really hard to be still because we don't find that's a productive activity. But do you know how hard it is for someone to be still? I used to, when I had my farm, I would go out on my front porch and I had a rocking chair and I would sit in my rocking chair and I would just watch the world go by and I made a mental no effort to try to do that 
for an hour every day. It was a form of meditation. I just watched the world go by. My chickens would come up to the porch and say hi because I had free range chickens and stuff. And that's fine, you know, but I would just, no, I, I'm not, I'm not reading a book. I'm not, you know, doing a puzzle. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting on my porch, rocking in my chair and watching the world go by. And sometimes we need to do that. Right now, you need to do that. And that's okay. It's, it's not a lazy thing. It's not, oh, I just can't get my ass in gear kind of thing. Sometimes you need to be still. And it is a skill to learn how to be still on purpose. So this is saying be still on purpose and trust that the energy will move you when it's time for you to move. So stop beating yourself up and saying, oh, I'm so lazy and I can't get anything done. I'm a good for nothing. You're not. Now is your time to be still. And like I said, society at large doesn't like that. They want you to be busy. They want you to be doing something. You should be posting something of what you're doing on Facebook or Instagram. You don't have to do that. You can just be still. Watch the world go by. Be the world's observer. We need more observers. There's too many doers. There's too many look at me, look at me's. There's not enough observers. Be the observer. And I don't mean on social media. I mean literally out in the world. Watch the clouds move if that's what is called to you. Um, sit in your living room and just be still. It's okay. It's good. Learn to be still. The art of doing nothing. I wrote an article on that. I'll have to post that. Um, so yeah. Anyways. <laughs> the energy around you is a win-win outcome is forecast. You've got a full moon in Libra. So in your um, ability to be still, your scales balance out. So that's part of the reason you need to be still right now. Doing um, stuff, posting stuff, look at me stuff is going to put you out of balance. So be still and your scales come back into balance. Um, so that's a good kind of energy around you. Balance wants to come in right now. Um, and, and there might be a little bit of karma, good karma coming your way too. So, you know, that's good. Embrace that. But you have to be still to let that good karma come in. Otherwise you're going to miss it. Oh, it also says to go outside. <laughs> so go outside and be still. It's time to go outside. Tune into the powerful piece of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. Um, I know my mother, who is a, was a Mohawk, is a, was a native, um, would often teach me the art of being still as a child. And I remember her bringing me out to the woods and we would sit. And we would just sit. We weren't there to talk. We were just there to sit in the woods and watch and observe what came by. It might come up near us, it might not, you know. Was there a chickadee? Was there a squirrel? Was there a raccoon? We were pretty out in the backwoods, so we could get some of these other kind of creatures happening. But it was interesting to observe and just to learn, especially as a child, I'm so glad she did this with me. At the time, it felt like torture, but <laughs> it really was a good thing um, because I learned to appreciate the sounds of nature, the feeling of nature, when the wind picks up, when it dies down, what happens, what do the trees sound like when the wind's blowing? There's no music, there's no chatting, nothing like that. Again, it was be still and watch the world go by. You know, learning all of these sounds that the nature really has, watching what happens, you know, like does a leaf fall from the tree kind of thing and watch that, right? Um, so go outside, be still. And that's when you find that balance and you need that right now. And don't beat yourself up about being lazy. You're not being lazy. You're being still and you're bringing good karma back into your life kind of thing. And you've also got the seven of cups. So this is, sevens um, are interesting. This is one of the good sevens in tarot. Se there's four sevens all together. Two of them are a little bit disappointing and two of them are often about, um, good things coming in. So this seven is a couple of different things. It could be um, that, and it's just hitting me now, 
that when you are still and you find that balance, you go outside and you observe, that's when you've been mulling a decision over in your head and you can't make a choice. That's when the choice becomes crystal clear for you. Yes, you've got lots of great opportunities in front of you and it's almost a little overwhelming and you're not sure what to do um, and there's some big change that you need to make in your life, you're gonna make that right decision as long as you're still first. You have to be still, you have to balance your scales, go outside, then you'll hear the message. When you know when you know what the sound of the rustle of the leaves sound like in the trees, that's when you know that decision is gonna be made clear for me. You'll know it when you hear it. You'll know it. So now we've got spiritual life. For those of you that, or spiritual health, I mean. Um, I started to read the card. <laughs> so the card says, my life is a beautiful re reflection of my soul. So maybe you've been kind of wondering, have I done enough? I'm feeling frustrated. I'm feeling trapped, perhaps. And it's saying, um, life is a reflection of your soul right now. You've really been living your soul path and what you're supposed to be doing, whether you believe it or not. Um, however, <laughs> So there's a little bit of a hitch here. <laughs> so you've been very good at following the path you're meant to, pa uh, to walk. You've been following your soul path. Your life very much reflects who you truly are. And you should be happy and satisfied with that. However, right now you're going into an energy. So this might be why you got this reminder of heading towards um, your north node. So it says step out of your comfort zone. So right now is a time... If it scares you, if it makes you uncomfortable, go towards it. Because our North Node often does make us a little bit scared, a little bit uncomfortable, that sort of thing. Because um, the North Node is the head of our dragon. So everybody in their astrology car, uh, chart has a dragon. We have the tail of our dragon, which our strength comes from. These are past lessons that we've learned. Um, these are skills and talents that we've honed. Um, that we're good at so sometimes we get stuck in our tail so this is a reminder that you need to go to the head of your dragon the head of our dragon is where we've kind of said to ourselves this is the direction that I want this life right now to kind of go to or go towards these are the goals I want to um, meet these are the lessons I want to learn you did all this before you entered here as a baby because um, that's what your astrology chart is all about. So I actually have a client who is getting a dragon reading right now. So um, I do dragon readings and dragon readings I often say are actually more intense and a little deeper than the birth chart because they really speak to your life purpose. So this is the time now for you guys to be heading towards that life purpose. And if you want to know what your life purpose is, you have to look to the head of your dragon. It gives you clues as to what your life purpose is. Um, so that's something to think about. You're about to step out of your comfort zone and go towards your life purpose. And it, it's really a grand feeling when you do head towards your life purpose. Now this is also here to say that you've been kind of on that path. So uh, maybe there's something that's come up that you know there's a decision that has to be made if it makes you a little bit afraid not terrified like not horrific but a little bit afraid like oh i don't know i'm a little bit nervous or if it makes you feel uncomfortable that's probably the place to go um because we can all get stuck in ruts and maybe you get kind of gotten stuck in a rut now the fairy card you got is to celebrate it says celebration get ready to let your hair down and celebrate it's time to go out to dance and play. An invitation could be on its way. So you're about to get an invitation. So if it's an invitation that feels uncomfortable, say yes to it. Um, and it's also a time to kind of find that time to be able to dance and play. I know in Kingston, Ontario, Canada, where I'm at, we can't yet dance at the bars, but it's coming. Be, know that it's coming. And we all can, you know, find a way to dance and celebrate. Um, so find that time, try to find that time with friends too, because that's who you often are celebrating with or family, that sort of thing. Try to find that time, because we're allowed to now, at least in, in Kingston, we're allowed to get together in groups and stuff like that. Not huge groups, but bigger groups. Um, so now's the time to kind of start doing that more 
because that's sort of what part of your purpose is. Now you've got the Queen of Cups as your tarot card. Interesting, a lot of cups, even though like there was one emotional pile, but there's a lot of emotions going through here. So you've got the Queen of Cups. Now she's, she's interesting because you can see she's very intensely looking at the cups. Now the Queen of Cups um, is sometimes called the Widow card, partly because you often are standing alone in what you're doing. Um, you're often the organizer of what needs to happen, because I just said hang out with friends and family. You're probably gonna have to organize that um, because you are now in that energy of the Queen of Cups. And that might speak to part of your North Node, part of your purpose, is that you are that person that is supposed to get people together. You do a lot of things alone and that's okay and you're, you're very much kind of a loner but you're also the glue that brings everybody together. Some people are glue people and some people are not. You happen to be one of the glue people. Although you do a lot on your own, you're very independent, you tend to do things by yourself. However, when it comes to gatherings and you're good at gatherings, you're the glue. You're the glue person. That's part of your, the head of your dragon, most likely. If you get in touch with me and want to do a dragon reading yourself, please feel free. And um, I, I'll bet we'll find out you're a glue person. <laughs> um, and, and, but you're very important. You know, like it's always kind of like, you know, those family gatherings. You know, it was always grandma that kind of got everyone together. And then when grandma dies, not everyone gets together so much anymore. And it just kind of falls by the wayside a little bit. Well, there are those people that are like those grandmas that are the glue. Um, so embrace that, know that about yourself. I know it can be frustrating, um, but you're the glue. <laughs> okay, so go out and glue some people together. Um, <laughs> that's all I got for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna go further, please um, message me. If you'd like to make a donation, I will put my e-transfer uh, email in the con uh, or in the description below. I'll also put links for all the decks if you want to get your own version of that deck. Um, please do that as well. That helps support me as well. Um, or you can make a small donation or you can do both, whichever you want, um, as a thank you for the video and also to help me continue to do these videos for you guys because I love doing these kind of readings. Okay, I hope you have a great week and hopefully talk to you next week. Okay, bye.